Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different tonight. It is 10.53 and I'm exhausted, but um, I'm going to start trying to do um, these videos. They've got to be done. I get so many emails every day. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to start doing, what do we call it? A high cast question. I don't know if y'all remember Click and Clack, okay, but... Uh, they used to be these guys that were brothers and they would answer questions all the time. Um, and they would, they were very, very funny and, and they stayed on the air for a long, long time. But what I'm going to do is uh, it's just better. I can email this guy back. His name is John and I can email him back and I can answer his question. But if I do, it's only going to help him. It's not going to help everybody else. And I think this is what we're going to, we're going to start doing. Um, I'm going to read you his email and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go on a rant because I see this every single day and it gets really old. Uh, but here we go. Uh, it says, Hi, Kaz. My name is John. I have a bad lifter in my 6.0. I plan on pulling my engine and replacing the cam and lifters. Last year, I bulletproofed it at 230,000 miles on the engine. Here's my list of work so far. Rebuilt turbo with stage 2 compressor and 10-blade turbine. I used ARP studs, new XDP EGR cooler, uh, Motorcraft oil cooler. Also installed a lot power water pump and fan clutch. Upgraded the blue spring regulator. Drilled my fuel line. Banjo bolts bigger. Uh, my heads were milled. Seven thousandths and nine valves were replaced both between both heads. New alignment fuel injectors. Some other items were replaced like EBP sensor, the intercooler, and stuff for battling over boost issue. And then I'll address it another time. So when I got my engine together, here's where I want you to pay attention. So when I got my engine together last year, it ran on seven cylinders instantly. Long story short, I'd have been pushrod. The mechanic that found it and fixed it for me said, just run it. So I did all summer pulling my camper. Oh boy. In September, I noticed a chirping sound. Imagine that. I returned to the mechanic that helped me, and he said, uh, sounds like a bad lifter, you don't say. I looked on YouTube, and I found exactly the same, described, uh, the same sound described as a bad lifter. I uh, also heard... Uh, said that they're, uh, they're reusing stock push rod causes this. Uh, no one told me of this which uh, when I was doing this work. Anyways, I'm pulling the engine to replace the cam lifters. Also heard the ring on the end of the crank can't uh, be touched. I know of a mechanic that says it can be moved without, uh, says without, moved without taking it off completely. So I want to know some things. Can the ring on the end of the crankshaft be loosened enough to remove the cam? Will your stage 2 performance camshaft shorten the life of my valve springs if I don't put stronger ones in. Do you offer a gasket kit for pulling engine and doing cam lifter swap? Okay, here it is. Man, where do I begin? Okay, so this is a super common occurrence for me. I hear things like this every single day. Um, and so many people out there are not a victim of Ford's design. Used to, I was, I, as a mechanic, I would hate to hear other people rant on mechanics. Um, because I understand as a mechanic, you get blamed for the radio not working when you put air in the tire, but this as a machinist, there's two different things. And I hear it all the time. I hear people all the time tell me things. Well, my mechanic said this, your mechanic's not a machinist and your machinist isn't a mechanic and very seldom will you find one of the same, but sometimes they're out there. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is this thing was a ticking time bomb, John, before you ever put this thing back together. When you put the key in the ignition, you let the fuse when you started it. It's not your fault. You're a victim, again, of a mechanic in a machine shop, uh, most likely. What happened is the push rod didn't bend for no reason. Uh, it bent, most likely, because the heads, not that they were milled for seven thousandths, but that the, most likely the heads possibly had been milled, but they never adjusted the valve stem height. Uh, 2 inch 221, 2 inch 225. I think that's what the stem height is supposed to be uh, right off the top of my head for a 6 liter. Um, sometimes I'll shorten that because of the preload. A 9 inch 849 thousandths push rod. They updated those to 9 inch 800s. That did help some. The problem with it was is as soon as you put that head on, you bottomed out the lifter because the valve stem now was hanging the valve open. As soon as the engine was cranked over, the piston hits the valve, the valve winds up pushing the push rod back against the lifter and it bends it it destroys it the guy that told you to keep running it bad idea what it did is it bottomed that lifter out and it kept hammering away on it until it just absolutely obliterated it had you stopped at the bent push rod you probably could have fixed possibly a bent valve maybe just a bent push rod uh, and you would have had no other issues 
But the problem with it is you got really bad advice to keep running something. If it's not right, don't ever keep running it. It's not going to get any better. <laughs> Very seldom does the noise ever go away. And if it does, it's generally because it, it fell off. Um, so anyways, my advice to you uh, is to make sure your mechanic and your ma machine shop, I don't know, I can't tell you for sure that the machine shop was at fault at this without looking at the cylinder heads. Um, but it is imperative. And yes, would a 9-inch 800 lifter uh, or a push rod helped you? Yes, and here's one reason why. It would have masked the problem uh, because of the valve stem height. Now, um, according to the exact scenario that you gave, but yeah, it would have masked the problem. It would have given you a cushion. Instead of bottoming it out, you know, you had 50 thousandths that you gained right there. It's always a great idea to update those because of the preload on the lifters. Uh, generally, you don't want more than about 60 thousandths preload on the lifter. Um, but that would have fixed the problem. So with that being said, uh, before I went and I wound up using those same heads that you just got back, I would never tell you to put a camshaft. doesn't matter if it's stock or if it's an aftermarket replacement. Will our uh, cams fix the problem? They will fix the problem so long as you're in the right environment. You're not in the right environment as it stands. Uh, what I mean by that is, is you've got stack up clearance issues. You need somebody to go through your heads. You need to go make sure that that's set up correctly before you go any further. Slapping a shorter lifter in it does not, uh, or excuse me, I said shorter lifter, I should say. Shorter push rod does not actually 100% um, address the problem. You need to have somebody go back through those heads that know what they're doing. This is a plug. Yeah, you can send them to us or we provide new heads. You can do that. I don't care. You can contact us, uh, choteperformance.com, uh, or you can give us a phone call, 901-553-9847. The cam that we provide is a crack and wax style cam. Uh, it does ha help because it has low shock technology and it preloads everything and keeps it loaded so that it does not have the uh, oscillation, excuse me, and um, and, and cause premature uh, lifter wear. So there's that. Um, then can the, the uh, end of the camshaft be taken off? It can, but it's imperative that you make sure that you clock it back exactly the same way. If you don't, you're going to have a horrific vibration issues um, and it'll take up lower bearings. So make sure that that's done. Um, let's see. I think that answers everything. Do we offer a gasket kit for pulling engines and doing cams? We offer, we're a one-stop shop. Everything that you would possibly need, we, we can provide that for you and we can help you uh, with that. Um, just give us a call and we'll get you taken care of. Hope this addresses all your issues. Again, um, you know, it would have been way cheaper. Unfortunately, you know, uh, you could have, you know, if you, if we could have talked sooner, but, uh, anybody else out there that wants to ask me a question, uh, if you want, you can email me. Um, it's actually, I guess, cash showed at gmail.com. Just send a email in and I'm going to start trying to answer them through video. It's just a lot quicker and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching.